Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve InfiniTQ previous year problem. The problem name is identify palindrome. Let's see the problem statement. For a given positive number num, identify the palindrome formed by performing the following operations. We have been given a number and we need to identify the palindrome formed by performing the following operations. Let's see the what are the operations that we need to perform. Add num and its reverse. So we need to take the number and reverse it. We need to add both these numbers and find out whether that value is a palindrome or not. Check whether the sum is palindrome or not. If not, add the sum and its reverse and repeat this process until a palindrome is obtained. Let's see the sample test case and we will get clear idea about this problem statement. Let's see here we have been given by 195. So 195 and its reverse is 591, right? So by adding these two numbers, we will get 7, 786, which is not a palindrome. Then we are going to reverse that 786, which is 687 and adding that number will not generate any palindrome. So again, we are taking the reverse of that number and adding. So again, we don't get any palindrome. We do the same procedure again. And finally, we get a number 9339, which is a palindrome. So we need to print this palindrome number in the output. That's it. So what is the things that we need to do? Input format is you will be given with a number num. You need to read that from input stream. That's it. Output format is print the palindrome calculated to the standard output stream. That's it. You need to print the palindrome number, which is calculated. And next sample test case is 124. If you reverse this number 421 add, you'll get 545, which is a palindrome. So 545 will be printed. And for four, it is eight because see, even it is a single digit, which is already a palindrome, but you need to do at least once the procedure. Like you need to take that number, reverse it and add at least once. Okay. Uh, that's the condition here. So even it is a palindrome already, but we need to do the procedure. Okay. First, we need to do at least once the procedure. Then after we need to compare. Let's see the pseudo code. We have taken n as integer and we can solve this problem in two ways. Either you can use mathematics or strings concept. We are using mathematics because strings is not we are going to deal about because in the given problem, we are having only numbers, right? Why do we need to take strings as a major concept here? Because we can solve this problem using basic math. Then why are we going to deal with strings? There are so many problems that are going to deal with strings, right? So using more resources rather than required is not efficient in programming. So we are going to uh, deal with basic math and solve this problem. Here we defined a method called reverse, right? So which will reverse the number. So what is the reverse function is having? We have a reverse variable zero and what this expression is doing is it's actually taking each digit from units place to highest order from LSB to MSB, adding that to a new number with opposite values. Okay. Which opposite means nothing but uh, suppose if there is a three digit number, there are three places, right? Units place, tens place and hundreds place. Uh, what the expression is doing is it is replacing the units place with hundreds place and hundreds place with units place and tens places remains same. Let's consider a number and debug this process, how it is going to work. Okay. Let's say we have a number 124 right here. So first, uh, when n is greater than zero, so while of n, right? So n is 124. This are, this is going to reverse zero, right? Zero into 10 is zero. Zero plus 10 modulus 124 will give you four number, number four. So four will be added to reverse. Now reverse contains four, right? Reverse contains four and next from n four is removed. So now the value of n is 12. Again, this for loop will be iterated and it checks the condition n is greater than 12 and we'll get two as a value here and we are multiplying reverse with 10. So reverse is four, which means 40. We are going to add 40 plus two. So which is 42. And the next number is one because we have, re we are removing the number which is already added to the sum, right? reverse number. Let's see 42 into 10 plus one. So which is four to one, right? So we got the reversal number, right? We got the reversed number. So that's it. That's how this method function works to reverse a number. And next, so we have uh, called that function temp stored in that uh, result in temp. So temp is having the reversed number and we are comparing both n and temp. And if they are not equal, then it is going to add. Again, the, uh, it's, a, it's going to repeat the procedure, right? So we are going, uh, we are going to add the temp value to n and again, we will call a uh, reverse function by using, by passing n as parameter and storing it in temp. Okay. Whenever this while loop is break, we are going to print that n. 
which is a palindrome, right? That's the pseudo code. Uh, let's look at Python code and then Java. So this is the Python code, the same which you have seen in pseudo code that is implemented in Python, right? This is the actual code. We have a, a function reverse and which is having a while loop uh, to reverse a number. And we are calling that uh, storing the reverse uh, number return value in temp. And then we are going to n plus temp, right? So we are doing the procedure. If, we, if the number is not a palindrome, then we are going to do this, repeat this procedure until we find a palindrome. And there is no such case like uh, we cannot find a palindrome number. There is uh, every test set uh, is given to you is will generate a palindrome, but based on the value given, it takes time. Okay. It takes suppose uh, some some numbers may be find in one 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 repetition or some will will be get, uh, some will result in uh, five to six repetitions in that way based on the given input the iter uh, the iterations and the number of repetitions will be will vary by the way if you are enjoying this video it's up would be amazing let's see the execution of this program so first we need to pass a number right so one twenty four so five forty five is the result right. So next number, uh, let's take the input from here, 195, so 195, so 9339, right? So that's all the result. And let's see Java code. So the same procedure, whatever the procedure that we used in pseudo code, that is same implemented in Java also. So we have a function reverse, which reverses the number and returns that uh, reverse number. And we are scanning the number, we are reading the input uh, using scan object, scanner object and uh, we are doing, uh, we are actually doing the same procedure, right? Let's see the execution process here. So we are going to give 124, which will result in 545, which is a palindrome. And again, 195. So 9339, that's the result. So if you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends. Thank you.